The World Economic Forum on East Asia was held in Nepido on June 5th and 7th. And there was a debate uh, among the, the Aung San Suu Kyi, uh, Minister Uso Dane, and other participants uh, in that debate. And then I, I saw Aung San from ARD and all the other participants, they talked very boldly and very frankly. And then I asked the opinions of the debate to my fellow friends. Uh, yes, so after I watched the debate, is the debate is very healthy and uh, fair and square, and a lot of participants uh, from various backgrounds and some from international organization and uh, some uh, from many intellectual and uh, those are uh, engaged in the debate also too. So. I assume that those kind of healthy debate should more and more in the near future, and even an election campaign when, you know, when opposition or ruling party or when they want to, um, you know, uh, talk about their policy and gender and issue and thing like that is those kind of the debate is very healthy, so people will understand, and what's their thought, what their policy, what their issue. Uh, behind so those kind of thing, I think we I for me and myself is I encourage you know those kind of debates more in the near future. Basically, is it in uh, debate is talk about you know whether current political reform process whether in reversible or not, and there were a lot of participants and uh, uh, engaged in the debate. And uh, one thing that came out is you know what Donald San Suu Kyi said is you know. It's about mentality and about to change and about a commitment to change those kind of things and the current situation is you know I mean even though uh, you can't even amend the constitution and uh, even think um, uh, Minister Sultan said you know um, playing back uh, you know telling back and full and telling you know uh, how speaker is going to be an answer for the question and the House of Speaker said that's depend on the representative and the parliament or maybe depend on the constitution. That is not the right answer, that is not the answer what the people expect. It's based on what he said is like they are not intended to change or they are not intended to uh, amend the constitution. So the, the whole world people, the whole world know, the people in Brahma know so you know, after debate, they are not actually they are not committed to change. Only then we can amend or we can change the constitution is let everybody in Burma to involve the political process and and demand it to amend the constitution. Uh, on the other hand, we need uh, some kind of leverage from the international uh, community and then the other uh, European and American country. Uh, to use their leverage to amend the constitution, put the more pressure on it to you know on the reform process to moving forward. And right now, it seems like the reform process it is a fragile process right now. It's easy to broken. So the only thing is um, people need to uh, you know uh, come out and speak up and then you know engage and participate in the. Um, and uh, you, uh, you know, for the amend the constitution. Um, at the same time, we need a lot of pressure from international community, and to put their leverage, more pressure to current regime to moving forward. Uh, my name is Tema Montre. Um, this is uh, just uh, all uh, you know, uh, magic show. You know, we are accustomed to see. Uh, you know, uh, uh, over time. Uh, the, you know, the basic thing is the um, Burmese diehard uh, military dictators will like to uh, hang on and protect their uh, personal interests, family interests, and the interests of their cronies to uh, further into uh, uh, domestic and international uh, layout of the 21st century. That's what they are. Uh, they have objective for. And then, uh, you know, the, uh, according to uh, Suji said, uh, this, uh, according to constitutional experts, this is the most difficult 
constitution to, uh, to be amendable, you know, in the world. So, uh, you know, even though, uh, you know, uh, they say uh, who is responsible and like uh, executive uh, branch responsible to uh, amend the constitution or, uh, you know, uh, legislative branch or judicial, uh, judicial branch. But either way, you know, th these constitutions a lot of, have a lot of red tapes in each article to protect the interests of the military and to uh, uh, have, uh, you know, uh, indefinite immunity for the uh, defense service, uh, military personnel, and other uh, diehard rank and file of the generals. There will be lots of, uh, in foreseeable future, there will be lots of commotion uh, trying to amend constitution here and there, or, you know, uh, a lot of efforts, or a lot of verbal, uh, I mean, lip service will be uh, uh, giving out in terms with uh, trying to amend this constitution. But uh, I don't think uh, uh, until 2015, the constitution will be effectively amended. And I, don't, I never see anything, even the slightest clue, that Aung San Suu Kyi will be president of, uh, after in, on, uh, in 2015 election. Changing con constitution demands for active participation from uh, all across strata of uh, a life uh, in, in Burmese, uh, uh, you know, in internationally and uh, nationally. Like uh, people uh, all over uh, the world and Burma will have to be participate in there to change the constitution. Is that that hard? It's a, uh, I mean, the hardest issue of uh, in this uh, political de uh, deadlock. Thank you very much to my fellow friends. Uh, my opinion is. As my experience, I never see this kind of debate in my life in Burma. Uh, debate among the political leaders or any kind of leaders. When I arrived in the United States, I saw the presidential debates and then the other debates on Sunday TV shows. I would like to see that kind of debates in my country and they will find the solutions together. And then that now is, it is very difficult to amend the constitution. Uh, we felt that it is impossible to amend the constitution before 2015 election. I strongly suggested that we need to amend the constitution before 2015 election. Otherwise, the country will go into chaos like the present time. Uh, there was a violence, there was a riots, and the workers, peasants, they are very mis misuse of power and corruptions in my country. So the first step is we need to amend the constitution before the 2015 election. That will be, this will be the only possible solution that I see so far. Thank you very much.